Good day, students. Welcome to MathGoodServe.com. In this group, we're going to be taking a look at angle pair relationships. All right, so let's take a look at some vocabulary terms that you need to keep in mind for this lesson. Go ahead and write this down. We're going to start with um, vertical angles. All right, what are vertical angles? Well, if you have two angles, two angles that are across from each other, two angles that are across from each other on intersecting lines. All right. Think about the word opposite. Whenever you think about vertical angles, think about angles that are opposite each other when you have two intersecting lines, okay? Another thing to note is that their measures are always the same. All right, they're congruent. All right, let's take a look at a visual representation of a vertical angle. So let's say we have um, two lines that intersect like this, okay? Now, vertical angles, they're basically, it refers mainly to the relative position of two angles to each other, okay? The key word here is opposite. So if you have two intersecting lines, can you think about two pairs of angles that are opposite each other. So if you have A and B, you see you have two intersecting lines. These two angles are opposite each other. So they are um, vertical angles, all right? So here angle A and angle B are vertical angles, all right? And the side notes is that the measure of angle A is equal to the measure of angle B. Okay, let's move on to the next terminology that you need to know, which is adjacent angles. Adjacent angles. What are adjacent angles? Adjacent angles is a situation you have when two angles, if you have two angles that are the keyword here is next to, two angles that are next to, okay? Two angles that are next to each other. All right, there's also another condition, which is that um, they also share a common side, okay? And share what? A common side, a common side. All right, so if two angles are next to each other and share a common side, uh, they are known as adjacent angles. Now, the word adjacent is just a relative term. Um, it's just referring to the position of two angles. It doesn't tell you anything whatsoever about the measures of the angles, all right? So let's take a look at an example. Let's say we have a situation like this. All right, we have a line, a straight line, with two rays coming out of it, resulting in the formulation of three angles. So let's look at A, this angle right here, A and B. All right, so if this is angle A and this is angle B. These two angles are vertical angles. Why? They are next to each other, as you can see here and they share a common side. This is a common side that they share. All right, so with this configuration, we have a representation of um, adjacent angles. Notice no angular measures are provided here. All right, so in this situation, we have uh, angle A and B. Angle A and angle B are adjacent angles. Okay, let's take a look at um, the next one. Uh, the next terminology you want to keep in mind 
are <clears throat> complementary angles. All right. Complementary angles. All right. So this one re refers mainly to magnitude. It doesn't really have to do with positioning. All right. So what are complementary angles? Complementary angles are any two angles, any two angles that add up or sum that add up to what? Any two angles that add up to 90 degrees. Those are what complementary angles are. They do not have to be adjacent. They just have to add up to 90 degrees, okay? So let me give you an example. We have a straight line like this. Bam. All right. So let's say the left side here is 90 degrees, which is indicated with a box. So that's 90 degrees. And then we have two angles here. Bam. All righty. Now this is angle A and angle B. In this particular situation, these two angles are complementary. Okay, angle A and Angle B are complementary. All right. How do we know that they're complementary? They're complementary because of the sum of the measures. The measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B is equal to 90 degrees. All right, keep that in mind. Okay, the next terminology to keep in mind are supplementary angles. Supplementary angles. What are supplementary angles? Uh, this one also refers to magnitude. Okay, not position, just magnitude. The size, the size of the angles. Uh, supplementary angles are any two angles that add up to 180. Any two angles that have a, have a sum or that add up to 180 degrees are supplementary angles, okay? So let's take a look at an example. Let's say you have a situation here. We have two parallel lines connected by a transversal. Okay, so let's say these two angles on the inside of these two lines, let's say this is A and this is B. All right, how would you classify these two angles? These two angles are supplementary angles if their sum add up to 180, okay? In the future lessons, we're gonna be talking about parallel lines cut by transversal and the, the idea of same side interior angles and how they're supplementary so we're going to be taking a look at that in future units so stay tuned all right so um here um they're supplementary angle a and b and angle b are supplementary why because the measure of angle a plus the measure of angle b is equal to 180 degrees Alrighty, so let's take a look at one more. And the last one that we're looking at um, is the terminology of linear pair, okay? So linear pair, when you're taking a look at linear pair, this one involves both position and magnitude, the size of the angle and how the, where the angles are located relative to each other, okay? So linear pair situation you have, when you have two angles that satisfy two conditions. Two angles that are adjacent, okay? Let's put that in green. Two angles that are adjacent. Do you remember what the term adjacent means? We talked about that earlier. Adjacent means next to. That's a fancy word for next to each other, all right? Adjacent angles are next to each other, as we see here. So that's condition number one, that they're adjacent. And condition number two, supplementary two 
Okay, let's fix that real quick. Adjacent and supplementary, all right? So do you remember what supplementary is? Supplementary means they add up to 180 degrees, all right? Another thing that you have to keep in mind is that um, linear pairs of angles form straight lines, okay? They always form a straight line. So let's take a look at a visual representation of a linear pair of angles. So let's say you have a straight line. And then we have the angle separated by this ray right here. So what we have in this diagram right here um, are a linear pair of angles, okay? So let's go ahead and specify what their values are. Measure angle A and B, okay? So angle A and B are a linear pair. How do we know? The adjacent, see the shared is common side, right? And they're next to each other. That's what adjacency means. Uh, and um, they are supplementary, okay? What does supplementary mean? It means that they add up to 180, all right? So angle A and B are a linear pair. Measure of angle A plus measure of angle B is equal to 180 degrees. All right, so these are the uh, vocabulary terminologies that you need to know. You can visit our website at mathgodserve.com under geometry, the vocab section to gain access to these vocabulary terms also. All right, let's take a look at uh, some example problems. So the task here for these given angles are for you to classify, classify the given pair of angles Um, using the terms that we just talked about, vertical, vertical, adjacent, uh, best vertical, adjacent, complementary, supplementary, and linear pair. So one, one thing to keep in mind is that multiple um, terms can be used for a particular problem. All right, number one. So let's say the angle here, let's say this is 90 degrees. Okay, and we have an angle pair down here. And this is A and B. So, how would you classify the angle in question number one? They're next to each other, and they share a common side, which means that they're what? Adjacent. Adjacent. Since this is 90 degrees and this is a straight line, these two must also add up to 90 degrees, which makes them what? Which makes them complementary. Okay, so these two angles are adjacent complementary angles. All right, let's take a look at uh, problem number two. Let's say we have angle uh, X and Y here. So we don't know anything about the measures, right? Because this angle isn't specified like here where it's 90, and we know these two add up to 90. Okay, if you take a look at number one, these two are 90 degrees because we have a straight line, and the straight line is a, has 180 degree measure, all right? Here we don't have any measures, but we know that they are next to each other and they share a common side. Angles next to each other that share a common side are known as what? They are known as um, adjacent angles. Let's write that down. These are adjacent angles. All right, let's take a look at number three. So for number three, let's see, we have angles M and N. 
and go M right here and I go N. Okay, so these two angles are opposite each other on two intersecting lines. So uh, north and south. So how would you classify these? These are called vertical angles, vertical angles. All right, one more, number four. Uh, how about you have two angles, E and F? How would you classify these? Well, these two are next to each other and they share a common side right here. So we know that that class qualifies them to be called adjacent angles. So they're adjacent. They also form a straight line, which is 180 degrees, okay? So two angles add up to 180 degrees, they're known as supplementary. So adjacent, supplementary. All right, supplementary and what else? The adjacent, supplementary. Now, two pair of angles are um, adjacent and supplementary. Let's write it down here. Adjacent, they're also supplementary because they add up to 180. If two angles are adjacent and supplementary, they also form a linear pair. All right, so angles A and B, um, E and F, sorry, adjacent, because they're next to each other, they're supplementary, because they add up, see this angle right here? They add up to 180, right? And the fact that they're both supplementary and adjacent qualifies them to be classified as a linear pair. All right, so there you have it. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Don't forget to help support our channel by liking and subscribing to this video presentation. Tons of support resources can be found on mapcodeserve.com. Do check it out. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.